Yeah, what's up guys? We're here outside of a grocery store here in uh, Los Angeles. I'm gonna head in and basically go through uh, my weekly shopping list to pick out everything I need for uh, a week's worth of food prep. Then I'm gonna take you back to my house, show you a typical kind of meal prep for the day, including breakfast, a couple of uh, main meals, dinner, post-workout, all of that good stuff, run through the macros, proteins, carbs, and fats, and kind of give you an insight into what I eat on a typical day. So let's get in there. So here we have it, pretty much all the food I need, including what I've got at home. Now we're gonna head back to my kitchen and basically whip up uh, a typical daily breakdown of all of my meals and kind of show you a little bit about how I make the food and how you can also follow this and turn some pretty ordinary food into some really tasty good food. I'll show you at the house. So here we are in the kitchen. We have all of the food out on the table that I got today and from what I already have in my fridge. So now I'm basically gonna show uh, what I use and how I prepare it to kind of get my five main meals for the day plus a shake or pre-workout meal. So uh, let's get to it.
pretty much a, a full day's worth of my food. Obviously, I'm not gonna eat all of the turkey and all of the fish and everything you see here, but what I wanted to do today was kind of show you a, a general scope of what I eat, how I prepare it, and really just how easy it is to make something like this. Look, I get that not everyone might have the freedom of time to be able to go and shop for everything and then cook and prep like this, but it comes down to this. Everybody needs to eat, and even if you're gonna eat out at a restaurant or cook something as simple as mac and cheese, it's still time. This whole kind of day's worth of eating took about 45 minutes from coming into the kitchen to now sat here with all of this food. And uh, it really is quite as simple as that. You can see with these uh, turkey burgers, I mixed in some mushrooms, some onion, and some uh, black beans as well. Basically just mashed it all together into a bowl and then used some ground up oatmeal with some herbs and spices to then just coat and lightly shallow fry on the pan using coconut oil. This is a high protein, low carbohydrate, great sort of dish that I can add with the yams, which something as simple as I just chop them up, boil them for 10 minutes, and there they are. Delicious with either a little bit of cinnamon on or just something like salt and pepper. Vegetables, I always wanna have vegetables with my main meals, with the exception of breakfast and post-workout. Plenty of fibrous green leafy vegetables, as well as salad stuff like kale, uh, lettuce, spinach, celery, bok choy, anything green and leafy, get in, keep in your fridge, and just try and have at least a serving or two with your main meal. Breakfast, uh, probably my favorite meal of the day, you can see why. Oats, good source of complex carbohydrates. I have some fruit on there as well with some uh, almond butter, uh, some healthy fats with that, and then the egg as well. The omelette here, some cottage cheese, egg whites, still with one yolk in. Still wanna get some of those healthy fats and it just improves the taste of the omelette. Chopped up some onions and put some mixed greens on there. Really easy and simple to make, it tastes great. And as you've seen, I've only been adding some simple ingredients, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, and something like this, a sort of low sodium Cajun barbecue. So sauces aren't really bad. You saw me pick up some uh, ketchup, some mustard. They're all natural, they have no high fructose corn syrup. Those are really the no-nos that you need to be looking out for when it comes to food. Everything else, clean, simple, natural. I didn't really buy much organic stuff. And don't get into that notion where you think, well, to eat healthy, you only have to buy organic. You don't, look out for natural. Look out for uh, no high fructose corn syrup or low sodium, you're gonna do just fine. The final part of this sort of daily puzzle, post-workout, couple of scoops of whey protein in there. I might have some simple fruit, banana, even an apple, some, uh, some nuts as well, just some healthy fats. But this is about five meals for me. Breakfast, two or three combinations of this, the fish as well, I, I coated in the same way that I did the, uh, the turkey burgers. I'm really getting two of these for one meal or two of those for one meal. So it's easy to mix and match. If I add some rice into the mix, I have a lot of different combinations for my main meals, breakfast, post-workout. Really what it comes down to is I prep for all of my meal for the most part of the day and then at night I'll cook my, my dinner from scratch. And it's during that time that it really doesn't take too much extra to cook a few extra ingredients and have your meals already cooked and ready to go that night so that the next morning you've already got your food done. So really you're only cooking at night and if you can afford 45 minutes or an hour at night to cook your dinner as well as prep a lot of your food so that you'll eat the next day, not only is it a time saver, but you're gonna be eating healthier with the right nutrition that is gonna fuel your fitness needs. All right guys, so there we have it. To find out more about my full daily eating, my approach to diet and nutrition as well as supplementation and training, head over to Supplements World, you can see my full athlete profile, everything is on there. I'm gonna pack this up, we're gonna head back to the gym and uh, move on to a bicep and a tricep workout. So uh, I'll see you guys there.